Oh, oh, what's that? Let's just uh, oh, reel it in. It's a uh, catfish. Yeah, I, I'm struggling for ideas. That's the best I could come up to when it uh came to intros this week. Hello everyone, I'm Alex and welcome back to another video. In today's video of Alex watches a TV show and then talks about it for a bit because we don't really have a name uh, for, for watching all of these. Um, I've tuned into Catfish, mainly because I'm alone. And the thing about Catfish is it's two people who haven't really met up. They get together after kind of talking online and then they either have heartbreak or they fall in love deeply. But most of the time, it's heartbreak. And that makes me feel better about my situation. So let's carry on. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Artis and Jess. Oh, which one's real? Which one's fake? Oh, I'd assume Artis is real because he's actually in the show. Uh, maybe, maybe, he's, maybe he's not. Maybe it's CGI. Maybe none of them are real. Do you know what you've never seen before? The subscribe button. And by the way, a lot of you aren't subscribed to this channel. Apparently like 50% of you. So do you know what you should do? Subscribe. And there'll be more catfish videos that you can watch. Thank you. Hi! Welcome back to another sneak peek show. Now they do like this sneak peek where they kind of take you in behind the scenes to give you like a little look into what's going to be coming up on Catfish. And uh, and it's very odd. <laughs> it's an odd show. I'm just going to show you. And you can, you can form an opinion for yourself. For the past few weeks we've been celebrating Catfish's 100th episode with Catfish Keeps It 100. Tonight we're keeping the party going with Catfish Top 10 Most Wanted, which is all about the most unapologetic, dirty, and greedy catfish on the wild, wild internet. When they say Top 10 Most Wanted list, I kind of just like imagine those like pictures of if these people got caught, of you know when people have like those giant like catfishes when they gone fishing. Like, here's one we caught earlier. He said he was a 24-year-old woman, but he's actually a 64-year-old man. Coming in at over 350 pounds. Oh, look at him, he's trying to escape. Uh, 350 pounds, uh, he's about six foot two. Uh, he's a right catch. What would the criteria be to be in the top 10, like, worst of catfish? Would you have to be really ugly? Um, not exist at all? And, like most catfish on our most wanted list, this one goes from hopeful and like maybe exciting and sexy to scary real quick. Great, sounds like my kind of relationship. I just stay with them. Sounds fun. Where are your feelings for her? My feelings for her is, you know, they like through the roof right now. You guys get frisky? You guys get frisky? Get frisky? I mean, I know he's got a G7X. He doesn't have to ask a vlogger question. There's nothing worse than, you know, already having an entire like camera crew of people who actually are cameramen. And then a guy going, oh, uh, yeah, I've got my little small camera here. I'm mean, like, oh, uh, do you send uh, hot messages? Say it into the lens. Um, this is going on my daily vlogging channel. It's just a way to add more insult to injury, isn't it? Like, you know, you, you can rush in when he gets his heart broken and it's actually an 84-year-old. Uh, man, he's been divorced seven times. You could go, oh, oh, look, let's get a close up of his of his, of his mug. <laughs> oh, leave me alone. Oh, oh, this is great. This is great for the show. Yeah, we have. We talk about sexual things. The name is sexy. Wishing that you was right here rubbing you down, kissing your body down slow. <laughs> look, just because he's asked you, right? doesn't mean you have to answer. You know, if somebody said to me, hey man, you know, you got any uh, frisky text messages? I go, hey man, my phone. Sod off. I wouldn't go, oh, let me just find my mobile device and scroll through last Snapchat. Here you go. Get a load of this sexy bad boy stuff. Nobody says that. Nobody says that. I'm starting to think I'm a catfish. That made my morning. Yeah, you know, not like mum coming downstairs, you know, with, with a homemade English breakfast on my birthday. That's what I want. Miss Sexy. Oh, wait, was that him to the catfish? Oh, that's taken on a whole different meaning then. Like, the catfish isn't even sending him that. He's sending that to the catfish. He's going, hey, you know, I want to kiss your body down slow. I don't even know if you've got a body. I've only seen your AVI. Like, to them, this person's just a square head. To them, maybe that's all they need. <laughs> of course, Artis only had one photo of Jess, and he had never spoken with her on the phone. So we reached out to Jess to arrange a meeting. But we quickly learned that she was not going to make this easy on us. Yeah, but that's because she doesn't have a body, as we figured out from that one picture. You know, there's a reason why it's cut off from there. 
she doesn't have legs. So it's very hard for her to go out and meet people. I mean, come on, surely you would know, but it's not a real person. I guess not. That's why there's a TV show on it. Finally, we get Jess to agree to meet. But as we'd soon find out, we had no clue what we were walking into. Turns up, just a floating head. <laughs> yeah, they go, oh, well, there's a reason why I didn't send him full body pictures. I don't have a full body. I fly. It was brave of them, though, to just, like, hunt these people down and, like, just invade their privacy. Could you imagine any other, like, place where it would be normal to be like, Hey, I don't think you're real, so let me come to your bloody house and figure it out for myself. Not many TV shows would get away with that. Uh-oh. Wait a second. As you can see, upgraded from the G7X now. He's got a proper camcorder. I rate that. I've upgraded because I wanted to see if I could get the um, full thing in 4K so I could really see the tears. You know, no creepier place to do this than at a park, really, is there? Like, that's the last place you really want to just, like, meet strangers. Hey, come meet you at the park. Uh, sure. How does that conversation go down? Have, have, have we been told never to meet strangers at parks? It's like the one place you definitely don't meet a catfish. I don't want to say the f My man looks so confused. <laughs> he's seen this mental car turn up and he's he's coming in and he's going Nyong! Oh man, terrible at driving. Must be a catfish. Come here. Don't touch me. Better back See, up. Don't man. touch me. Oh my god. Oh, you can't end the sneak peek there. That's ridiculous, man. How am I going to know what's going to happen from here on out? How do I know if he's a floating head or not? Luckily, they have uploaded the final bit on YouTube. Um, they just split into multiple parts. So, um, let's see how artist reacts. Well, I wouldn't ever get in his car. He can't drive, so. I hope he doesn't go home with him. No, this ain't the. It's just like some sick joke. <laughs> just. I've got you. You thought I was gonna be a woman. <laughs> How wrong were you? How can you do that? How do you have the audacity to walk towards him like this, number one, and then slow clap? Towards him. Stop! Oh, oh he's gonna clap your ass. And not in that way. This dude. Hey man, you wanna chill out a second? Shh. <laughs> he told him to shush! I don't know why I'm watching, man. This guy's insane. You've met him at a park. He's clearly got a full body. And he's not afraid to use it. I'll be running now. There's just sat there. He's on crutches, you know. He's weak. He might go from the weakest out of the pack first. You know, that's not a catfish. That's a lionfish. And he's hungry. Excuse me. Cheers, man. For real. Don't touch me. You better back Seriously. up. Don't touch me. You better back what up. What kind of is this? You better chill out, man. What the kind of is this, man? We're talking. Him and I are talking. I don't know. Did he think he was going to be taller or something? If he suddenly comes out with, I f you said you were, you were six foot four in your profile. And he goes, Yeah, but you said you're a fucking woman, man. You said you were going to be a woman. Yeah, but you said you would be taller. And your pictures definitely are from this year. You're upset at me? You're upset at me here? Excuse me. I'll just tell you one thing right now, Excuse buddy. Me. One thing you're gonna like. You're gonna learn to love it too. What the hell are you talking what, about? What's dude? going on? I'm gonna be the one wearing the pants in this one. Um, well, based on the text messages, no, because it seemed like quite the opposite. Like you'd be wearing no pants. Come here, we're gonna talk. You what the we got? We ain't really. We ain't got. So we don't talk. You man? Are you kidding me? You can still be my chocolate kiss too. You don't forget about that, baby. <laughs> what is going on here, man? You could be my chocolate kiss too. Hey, I man, I don't think you should be saying that for so many reasons. There are many reasons not to call somebody a chocolate kiss. I'm not gonna list them. But, uh, they're pretty, like, self-describable, really, aren't they? Don't call somebody that. Especially not when you're not who you said you were. Because he can actually see you now. So there's consequences, say. So. Yeah, I wouldn't push it. But, um, you know. Well, I don't know what's going on. Come on. Come on, what the f*** is that? 
Can so, do you know this guy? Time no, out. Do you know this, know this guy? No, I don't know this Are you Jess? Yeah, I'm Jess. You're Jess. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you already touched his hair. Like, yeah, I'm Jess. As if, like, he's meant to look the same. Yeah, I'm Jess. But you just put a wig on, you know? That, that's all that profile was. Yeah, I'm Jess. Oh, uh, yeah, I look just... What do you mean? Can't you tell? That, there. That's what I had. What kind of is that, man? <laughs> oh, man. Poor bloke. He gets in his car. Don't worry. That small little G7X from earlier, it's been implanted onto his dashboard. Oh, oh no, that sucks. Looks up. There's a camera there. You can't escape it now. It's like a horror show. This show's like something out of Black Mirror, isn't it? How is it real? To be fair, the internet should be removed purely because of this. This is the number one reason why we shouldn't be allowed the internet. Because of the Catfish TV show. Not everything is as it seems. Not everything you see or want it to be can be exactly what you want it to be. And I am living proof of that. And I felt that. And I felt the necessity to put myself out there. He's clearly going insane. He's trying to give you like a life lesson about how he isn't what life seems to be. What if, at any moment, this man could morph into a, a bodiless woman just from the from the torso upwards. What, what's your name, by the way? You, you skipped that. My name's Justin. I'm gonna take a take a stab at this. Sure. You're gay. Obviously, I'm not gay. Well, it's not so obvious. I mean, you, you, you are pretending to be a girl online and, and having a romantic relationship with a guy, so... <laughs> I love that! You're gay. Obviously, I'm not gay. You're gay. Obviously, I'm not gay. You're gay. Well, clearly, I know I called him my chocolate kiss earlier, but I'm not gay. Don't jump to conclusions. I give it to you. You got me there. Right. So, may maybe. Ah, oh, you caught me out. Maybe I am gay. <laughs> I feel like I've been chucked into some form of fever dream watching this. Like my head's just... It's, I, I don't know. What's happening? Oh, oh, oh no. Dan, please. Oh, no. Oh, no. I shit you not. Enzo, hey, you might be gay. I'm not gay. Ah, you got me there. Maybe I am gay. Gay? I am. <laughs> and then it goes catfishing. Well, we don't really do any fishing, and there's no cats involved. And that's it, the show ends there. That was one clip from the show, and I already feel like I've watched enough of that for the rest of my life. Well, thank you guys for watching this episode. If you guys did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like, and maybe we'll do more catfish episodes. Hey, 70k likes, and we'll do another one. If you guys did enjoy, subscribe. Why not? Check it out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, people, and have a good day.